Alrighty, welcome back everyone. It is Laughing Games here. I am back and it is time for another StarCraft 2 1 vs 1 replay cast. We have got ourselves another Alpha Star match, an Alpha Star best of three, as it is the other day in every other day as far as Alpha Star on the channel is concerned. In the top left hand side of the map we have got a Diamond Zerg. Gonna be taking on Alpha Star. Alpha Star in the, the bottom right playing Terran. So Alpha T doing doing his thing. We'll probably see a bunch of siege tanks, a bunch of marines, and then a Zerg suicide their army into him, if I had to guess. Uh, these replays are getting, I'll be completely honest, a little bit repetitive. Uh, I'm excited though because we will see builds that we haven't seen in a while when we do get to the newer Alpha Star ones. And then, of course, it's always still just fun to watch the AI derp, derp in different ways still. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, go ahead and hit that like button on the channel. Seeing as how we are eight seconds past the first minute, let's go for eight likes on this video. And then, of course, if you're new to the channel, you enjoy Daily StarCraft 2, go ahead and subscribe. There's regular pro games, there's my own personal live stream that I do on the channel. So uh, the channel really should have something for you if you're a StarCraft fan. Uh, just a side note, as of the time this video is going up, I'm going to be probably leaving for seven, up to seven weeks. Uh, as, a, yeah, as of a few days after this video goes up. Um, you don't need to fear though, Alpha Star is still going to be on the channel if you're watching this. And I'm the absolute worst, by the way, as far as turning my phone off goes still. But <laughs> that's going to become a meme, oh no. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I'm so I'm gonna be going away doing some training and that means that I won't be able to live stream I won't really be on social media or things like that But I will have queued up a number of alpha star videos and pro pro games I've been doing two to three a day for most days so that I will have a backlog to cover me when I can't be making new videos So you guys don't need to worry alpha star is still gonna be coming from your way And this is me coming from the future or past the past i guess if i'm doing this now and it's not going on the channel for like a month or so but yeah anyway uh just thought i'd keep you guys in the loop if i don't respond to comments or things like that and now we take a look as far as alpha star goes we've got a bit of an interesting positioning uh the ai just kind of parks two marines out on the map like hey how's it going brother i don't why why did the overlord put us here just sitting in the middle of this place and the marines are like, can we at least get a bunker out in the middle of the map or something? Like, like it's between two valleys, it would be a great place to put a bunker to fortify the position. And Alpha Star says, uh, no. No, 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 no. And so let's take a look what we've got. We've got a couple of Hellions on the way for Alpha Star. We've got a Starport. All the while, Metabolic Boost is on the way for the Zerg player. That third hatchery is out. Uh, yeah, everything's pretty normal. Just drones for days. From the diamond player. The diamond player has made his four zerglings. They're running around the map. Looks like one may run into these two marines and the two marines will be like, aha! I knew there was a purpose of us being here. And they're like, wait a second, that zergling came from behind. That can't be good. Uh, and that, and they know that zerglings just come in pairs. Uh, every, every marine's like, all right, zerglings come in twos for some unknown reason. But uh, those lings do actually turn around for the diamond player. We're seeing 10 more lings on the way, speed on the way. I wonder if these lings are just a reaction to seeing two random marines out on the map, or if he's just, just playing it safe as per usual. We do see, though, drones still on the way, queens on the way. The diamond player just macroing up. Alpha Star behind this is getting up Stimpak, making some Hellions. So I imagine we'll be seeing a third command center relatively soon from Alpha Star as that's that's usually what we do. Instead, we do see a couple of extra barracks go up first, so it'll be a three racks play into a third CC probably. Really, it's uh, it, it can be trivial as far as what you pick. The two Marines for Alpha Star are gonna be, have already killed off, I guess, one Overlord. Now they're gonna be getting a second. The Viking has already killed off one Overlord, so two Overlords for the Diamond player have died. That's quite bad for him. Quite nice for Alpha Star. These two Marines are actually still just hanging here. There's actually four Marines, or five Marines now. These two guys, and these two. Marines come in twos, just like Zerglings, apparently. But uh, now we check. Alaire is on the way for the Diamond player. 
couple of extra gases have been thrown up. We see just three gases for now for the diamond player, so we'll see what he's going to spend this gas on. And he has stopped more or less at 38 drones. He's actually just kind of fallen asleep on his macro a little bit. He fires up one drone, but he's got 800 minerals. What do you spend in this? What do you spend in your resources on? There's some spores. There's some more drones, double Evo. Uh, you got to spend your money if you want to be a good StarCraft 2 player. And oh no, these two Marines are going in for battle. They're charging in, checking out the third base. Like, all right, that's the third base. I see no drones. And oh God, what is this gigantic... This gigantic bug, I mean, it must be terrifying if you're a marine. This queen is like three heads above them. And then a bunch of lings come in and kill them. Sad times for those boys. Uh, now we see 13 more drones on the way for the diamond player. Sometimes players have a hard time spending all their money. The diamond player fires up 13 drones, seven banelings, and a hydra den. But his money is still continuing to soar. You gotta make sure you're macroing, hitting your injects, Zerg. Uh, I have been trying to play a little bit of Zerg lately, and it certainly is tough to make sure you're hitting your Overlord timings, to make sure you're doing your injects at all the all the right times. Uh, I'm going to have to look into like setting up those auto-injects like some players use, and then I'll uh, have to look into uh, auto or speedy warpins for Zealots and things. A few things about my own play that I need to work on that I think about watching these Alpha Star games. Now, Alpha Star has committed to four Hellions. The Viking is still being a jerk. Going to be trying to kill another Overlord and will get it. So three Overlords have died this game. The Hunting Overlord and then... Uh we see Overlord Speed has been researched for the Diamond player, so he's going to be able to jet over Alpha Star's base. The Hellions are out for Alpha Star, but they haven't really done too much this game. The main story right now, though, is this big old drop that Alpha Star is going to be going for. Four full medivacs moving across the map. We have got siege tanks and a couple of them. The Hellion's also going with this. Will the Diamond player have enough to hold on? He's got 26 lings, seven bane lings and three hydras now more lings are being made more hydras are being made it's still going to be tough to break these two siege tanks these marines have plus one they're going to pack a punch alpha star is coming in for an attack looks like the lings and hydras are going to be trying to get into position to deal with this the diamond player is going to have to pull the trigger on this eventually looks like his lings do get a surround on the tanks which is nice his bane lings eat a few shots but the tanks are taken care of which is very important for the diamond player his lings and bane lings are now moving in the bane lings force the marines to lift off for alpha star Alpha Star does a good job lifting off its units, and it looks like the Diamond player will hold on, but Alpha Star still seems to be doing okay. Up on supply, the Diamond player's macro has been halted. He's been forced to make so many units. There hasn't been a fourth base started yet either, and all oh, these Marines are just going to charge right on in for Alpha Star. We see these Marines just gunning up some of the Hydras now heading towards the natural base, killing off a ton of drones. Hydras are trying to fight, but oh man, is Alpha Star just going to win this game? I think the AI is just going to totally bop his opponent here. Uh, more Hydras are coming in, but Hydras themselves aren't very good. They deal a lot of damage, but they aren't very strong, so they tend to need a buffer of some sort. Uh, the Diamond player, yeah, lost a ton of his drones. He's making 11 more Hydras, which... It should be enough to stop all these Marines, but the damage has already been done. There's more units moving across the map for Alpha Star. I think we just saw a total bop. Alpha Star able to take this one, killing those poor Hydras as they rally out to the wrong area. The Diamond player is going to try and save the lair, but doesn't save it. He's now down to two bases. All the while, Alpha Star has got its third getting up. More units moving across the map. The AI has totally just destroyed its opponent. Mistake from Alpha Star, losing a Medivac there medivac or two and the but still there's so much more coming forward for the for the ai these marines are going to stim forward uh players are equal on upgrades right now but once again the hydras are not that good by themselves the marines going to pick off a few of them and alpha star can just trade out at this point and still win the game uh yeah the diamond player is going to try and reset up his natural base he's still just making hydras for the most part he really likes hydras he is a hydra boy but uh Taking a look, Siege Tanks on the way for Alpha Star, Extra Barracks getting up, third base getting secured. It's looking pretty darn good. The Siege Tanks, if they get set up, they'll just annihilate the Hydras, but oh, Alpha Star may be over committing a little bit here, not having all of its reinforcements with this. There's the reinforcements. Now the AI can turn and fight these units, the Medivac's healing them up. Uh, the tanks and marauders doing what they can. Oh, maybe the Zerg is going to hold on. Looks like Alpha Star is going to get sent packing by these Hydras. 
the Zerg gonna pursue a little bit, force the Diamond player, or force Alpha Star back. Reinforcements are coming across the map from Alpha Star, but it seems that this iteration isn't doing the best job of consolidating its forces. You know, Alpha Star doesn't tend to bleed off units too much, but this game it has kind of thrown away a few more than you would. Disregard that though, as the AI is still in an incredible position, getting up a fourth command center, more tanks, more marines on the way. Ling's gonna do what they can. Lings and Hydra's still just sitting back there. Uh, Alpha Star gonna be moving forward once again. The Diamond player is kind of reestablishing though, getting up his natural base now. Uh, he's made some Hydra's, but I'm still really quite concerned. Alpha Star is gonna come on in. If it actually sets up these sets up its tanks this time, it's gonna be very hard to save the fourth base. The fourth base actually gets killed. That's very painful for the Diamond player. He's gonna eat a ton of tank shots. Alpha Star's units are doing good enough. The Marauders gonna stay alive due to the medivac healing. The tanks just shelling away. The Diamond player taps on out. Alpha Star is the winner of game number one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, into game number two. We have got a Masters Terran gonna be taking on Alpha T, so double tea time for Alpha Star today. Uh, that last game, it really did just do a good job and win out against the AI, or against the human. Uh, yeah, I mean, the human Zerg tried. Feels kind of weird calling him the human. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, the player tried. He tried to do what he could to hold on, and I mean, he wasn't looking horrible. He was looking like a diamond player. And, uh,. Now we'll see if a Masters player is able to do anything. So far though, Alpha Star does just seem to, for the most part, crush Diamond players, Masters players, straight up, no questions asked really. And uh, so I am excited for when we do get into the GM replays, the ways a little bit down the line. But uh, in the meantime, we're gonna keep casting these. As I said, we'd cast every single Alpha Star match and then we're gonna finish strong. Now, let's take a look here. There is a barracks on the way for the Masters player. Interesting positioning, not building it at the top of his ramp, but uh, near where the Reapers would jump up. I wonder if this is just to try and bake out a potential opponent or just one of those things, just because I don't see harm in it. I don't see an inherent benefit. Barracks on the way for both players, double gas on the way for both players. And thus the game will continue on. Hearing those StarCraft tunes kick on in, I. Let me know if you guys do have any feedback as far as the audio goes on these commentaries and even my commentary in general. I know I can be pretty casual about my commentary, but I do appreciate feedback on little things here and there. Uh, it does help me become a better commentator and I am trying to do as good as I can commentating. Now we take a look. There is a factory on the way for both players, supply depot on the way for both players, a complete mirror matchup and so that kind of makes it really interesting because who's going to be the one to make the play that'll make them stand out, give them a lead? It's like uh, they're both on even footing. They're both equal opponents, it would seem. Who's going to take the lead? For now, it looks like we've got extra Reapers on the way for both players. Hellion's on the way. I'm going to assume Hellion on the way for Alpha Star, the factory, a little bit later for the Masters player. And then we'll see if he goes into his own Hellions and maybe his own Starport. Looks like there is his own Hellion, and he's actually going for a very quick command, or a quicker command center, not a very quick command center, a quicker one compared to his opponent, which I do actually enjoy this decision. Uh, it's not like the Masters player is playing greedy by going for this command center. He's playing very moderate for the most part. He went for a double gas opening, so he's got a well-timed factory. He's got out a couple of a couple of Reapers and a Hellion. He's now getting up his add-ons and everything, a Starport. But then he's also going to have his Command Center at a good time. And so I do enjoy his choice to do this. Of course, things can be a little bit risky depending on how ballsy Alpha Star is. If, if the AI, say, ran across the map with its Hellions and Reapers right now, chances are it could take a good fight as it's got a numerical advantage. We see the Starport is about to finish up for the Masters player. What's he going to make out of it? He could be going for his own Banshee akin to Alpha Star. For now though, he does start up a Cyclone. Maybe he'll make a Raven. That would be really, really good for the Masters player. Uh, having a Cyclone and a Raven against Alpha Star, I think, would be a godsend. And now we see he's actually going for double gas already. So I think we're going to be seeing Mech out of the Masters player. Although, take a look, we're already seeing 
a raven on the way, a raven and a cyclone. This is a hard counter against Alpha Star. So he's going to have a good economy. He's going to be slated to defend the harassment of Alpha Star, assuming his units are in position. I really like this opening from the Masters player. I am a little bit confused by how much gas he's mining. I find it a little bit odd to be having six, tw 12 workers in gas already. Ignore my math there. But uh, yeah, it, it does seem odd to have this many workers in gas. And then taking a look here. We have got ravens on the way, a raven on the way. Looks like another raven on the way. That's partially what all the gas could be for. Another cyclone popping out. He then starts up a reactor. Hmm, I'm curious. Is he going to go for mech? Is he going to go for bio? Based on all the gas, I'd assume he'd be playing a style of mech. We see the cyclones coming on in. It's not able to lock onto the Banshee, but the Raven comes in. There's the lock. The Banshee will kill off a decent number of SCVs before it goes down. It looks like he gets five SCVs and then gets cleaned up. So the Masters player's economic lead is dissipating a little bit with that Banshee harassment. I'd say five is an acceptable amount particularly when there is a cyclone and a raven out on the map. Now, we have got another raven about to pop out for the Masters player, but another Banshee going to be moving across the map for Alpha Star. How much damage will this get done? Also, for the AI, we see Alpha Star now being the one who wants to move ahead with an economic play, going for a third command center. Whereas there isn't a third on the way yet for the Masters player, he's thrown up an extra factory, so it is indeed mech. Alpha Star is going to be coming in to spot this, as far as styles go, I really think uh, mecking is a great choice against Alpha Star because turtling up to a big army seems to be the play to make against the AI. We see this Banshee will get cleaned on up by the Cyclone and the Raven duo. That is two dead SCVs for it. Not a bad trade at all for the Masters player. He's getting up three factories before he gets up his third base, so he's going to be playing it very safe for the most part as far as mechan goes. And honestly, as far as at a master's level, I really don't mind this because you have the leeway to... You can go to more extreme ends without being punished for it for the master's player, so he can delay his economy a little bit. Make sure he's got a strong army, not have to worry about dying, then take a third base, and he won't be punished as much for it versus if he was at a very high level because uh, of how the economics work with essentially his opponent won't capitalize on it as much. Now we see Alpha Star is getting up that third base though and is a very strong macro player. So who knows, maybe this will come back to bite the Masters player in the butt of Alpha Star just gets up to a super strong economy. However, the Masters player could actually just be planning a big attack. Auto turret comes in for Alpha Star. The Raven just flies on in, going to start killing off some SCVs. No reaction whatsoever from the Masters player. Uh, he's pulling units in, but he's not pulling SCVs away. Oh my gosh, that was just... That was just like... Uh, nine SCV kills. The Viking should be able to catch the Raven... So that's a little bit painful for Alpha Star, but 9 SCV kills is pretty darn nice compensation. There's some still pulled off the line. The AI's harassment really, really messing with the Masters player right now. And oh, the Raven even gets out. That is absolutely huge. Alpha Star behind this is actually going to be playing its mass air play. So it's going to be playing triple quad starports. So maybe the mass Viking, Banshee sort of stuff that the AI does. And I wouldn't say this is a bad counter to mech. In fact, I'd say it's actually a really darn good counter to mech. As uh, he'll have air control to shut down the Liberators, the Vikings. And then the AI will actually have Banshees. Since there's not going to be a ton of ground AA from the Masters player. Now, this doesn't mean that the Masters player won't have a window. Income his Vikings, his Ravens, his Liberators, and Cyclones. Alpha Star does have one Siege Tank with its army. Is there going to be an Interference Matrix? Looks like there isn't one just yet. The Ravens are kind of just dilly-dallying. There's an Interference Matrix. A lot more energy is on these Ravens, though. So they're going to pop down a few auto turrets. The third base of Alpha Star is under fire. All the while, the counter damage done by Banshees, and the Raven is huge. So the Masters player is pretty much all in at this point. His Liberators are going to move forward. He's going to be able to maybe kill a cyclone, kill a mar few marines or something, but as far as his air control goes, that is gone. He's now going to be pushing forward. Alpha Star has got four siege tanks. That looks like it's going to be more than enough to hold on, and Alpha Star successfully defends this attack. Did it keep its command center alive? Yes, it did. Well done by Alpha Star. Able to defend that attack. A little bit dicey. I think if the master player controlled a little bit better, maybe he'd have had a better chance if he utilized his cyclones, his ravens, 
better, but in the end he didn't, and Alpha Star is going to take a quick 2-0 today. So another Alpha Star victory for the channel. Uh, put that tally on the board. Is anyone actually keeping track of Alpha Star's wins and losses? Uh, maybe I'll go back and tally that up before the end. But uh, yeah, thanks so much to everyone for tuning in. This has been Laughing Games. Like the video if you enjoyed it and made it to the end. Subscribe as well if you made it to the end of the video and aren't subscribed. Join the Discord. It's linked in the description. And then consider becoming a member if you do want to support the channel and the content. I'll see you next time. This has been Laughing Games. Thanks so much for watching.